Hey folks, this is J Moon 1981, and this is my first ever video. So I want to show you real quick how to score 400 points in one turn. If I can hit the right buttons, we'll get this started. All right, now my favorite deck for I guess it about anything has always been Paleo and. Luckily enough, I've been playing a long time and I have all the paleo cards, so it makes it easy to rack up. Oh no, we got the Master Scout we're going against. I'll have to check him out on Discord. Shadowcon. Cool deal. Well, we got some heavy hitting dinos in this deck. And they're always fun, but. I actually learned tricks from my nine-year-old to where you can not always play the most powerful cards you got, but just let them sit there for a little while and let them just keep gaining strength. And when you want to play them, they'll be even stronger. And no, I do not have the good micro kind of over baritone he's got a lovely voice i love listening to micro if you hadn't what or listened to his podcast uh it's great uh, it reminds me of the old paul harvey stuff back in the day it's the way i heard it and that's paul harvey's was now you know the rest of the story but i really like what uh micro's doing there and everything from dirty jobs to Bearing or not bearing sea gold was uh, the deadliest catch. All his stuff is just fun to watch. And continuing on here, let's keep doing these cards that make our cards even cheaper. Should complete our first round. Which one was it? This new Q2 design. They they've really added to the animations that are going on in here, and it's every time I watch it, I just look a little bit closer. I mean, I like seeing the stained glass windows, and now we got a Knights Templar. Now we got a nice temple card, which I'm still trying to get. Uh, it's neat. I think my favorite realms now has become the arts and culture, believe it or not. I ain't never been a big fan of arts and culture. I mean, some of my favorite cards that I had ended up in arts and culture when they shifted them from... Uh, Norse mythology and such. But either way, I like when you little mummy or I know they said they had a name for that little guy, the little pond there in the middle. You got the mummy in this world, you got the little crab in the ocean and seas. When he goes by and his little sign hits the stuff and bat knocks it over, that's one of the things I like. He'll tap that totem in this one, but in arts and culture, he's got paintings on each side. He's got a vase in the back corner and all like that. And it's like one day those things are just going to fall over and it's going to be funny. But I ain't got there yet. We'll see. They are always adding more and more to this game. And it's hard trying to keep up with collecting the cards as they go, but it's still fun, and I like to read the backs of all the cards as well, so learn new bits of information as we go. It's funny, we'll come across a conversation, and I'll be like, hey, there's a key card for that. Let me go pull it up, and I'll show you. Now that we've got our 
Triceratops and Stegosaurus just about to the good leveling off spot. We will throw them down on this final turn and guaranteed to break that 400 points per turn that we was looking for. My Paleo deck is also the first deck I used to break over a thousand but it wasn't quite set up this way it was a whole lot of just boosting mm. knock him down for this last turn good game and there you have it too bad we couldn't get to that arts and cultures. We'll have to do another video later. Y'all have a great one. Be blessed.